Hi, I'm Tony McManus, and welcome to this uh, introductory lesson on Celtic guitar. Now, I'm going to assume I'm not introducing you to the guitar itself. Uh, I'm hopefully going to introduce you to some different structures in Celtic music that you may not be familiar with, different rhythms, jigs, strut spays, airs, things like that, maybe even a slip jig. We'll talk about different time signatures, different techniques um, to often you're trying to evoke the vibe of a different instrument or even the human voice. So we'll look at different techniques to, to do that and hopefully introduce you to some very beautiful music. Enjoy. That was a tune called uh, She Beg, She More, um, one of the most famous uh, pieces of Celtic music from any of the, the Celtic countries. And it's frequently been arranged for guitar and almost always arranged in dadgad tuning. So let's just recheck our strings. Here we go. D, A, D. She Beg, She More is uh, reputedly the first tune composed by uh, the great Irish bard, Turlough of Carlan. Carlan lived around the 1600s and was a traveling musician. Um, it was just himself and his horse and a harp. And he was blind and spent his life going from uh, country house to country house. And he would compose tunes for specific occasions for a, a christening or a wedding or a funeral, lots of laments and things. <clears throat> and his music has become uh, a very important part of the, the Irish tradition. It's, it's part of the, the tradition that guitar players in particular seem to have uh, taken on board. Um, sometimes I feel to the, to the exclusion of the dance music, of the jigs and reels. But um, if you're going to have any um, encounter with Celtic music on the guitar, you really have to have some knowledge of Turlough O'Carlan. And th this tune is um, perfect for arranging on guitar. Um, let's look at the first line. That's the opening. Now, in, particularly in Dadgad, that you have lots of choices. You could play that. You have to find a way that um, suits your interpretation of the tune. Now the bass line that I hear descends from that D. That's a very basic opening. Right? Then that would be the simplest way to play it. Or 
that's a more dad get specific. Melodically, you're going third string, second, third, second, top. You're really exploiting that whole tone interval between the second and third strings. Or if you don't want to do that. There you're doing a little bar on the top two strings with your first finger. Now here, I go up, um, well, I'm assuming I did this in the performance, but you never know. That's an interesting ornament. You, you're going with your little finger onto the fifth string. Look at that slowly. develop a little bit of strength because I'm not plucking it with the, the right hand, it's all left hand. And it goes by in an instant. Let's look at that again. There, I'm coming over with my thumb. Um, classical guitar players would be taken out and flogged by their teachers for doing such a thing. Steel string acoustic guitar players do it all the time. Um, lots of my favorite players, like Pierre Bancezan, the late Isaac Guillory. Isaac did amazing things with his thumb on the bottom string. I, I do it occasionally, but not a huge amount, but here it's, it's useful. Um, so if you have another way of fingering that that suits you, then go for it. It's just a, an ergonomic thing for me, I guess. So the second part... That's a bit of a stretch. Now you're going to the B minor there. Now, you're going to do a run across the strings. That's a very typical dadgad thing. You're going from the ninth fret down to the fifth, then onto the second string, then the top open. A lot of these arrangements are all about playing across the strings and you finish on an open string, which gives you a chance to move into position to that A chord. that ornament again. So again, be aware of having the melody sing clearly. It needs to be on the top of what's going on. And Dadgat tuning really suits this type of uh, arrangement. Look for chords involving the open strings. If you're fretting a bass note, say on the fifth string and the melody notes here, find out what's in between. Find out if... Sometimes it'll be horrible. Find out if you can fill that space with a chord. Dadgat tuning, it's very hard to to come up with something that sounds utterly atrocious.
So the chances are you'll find voicings quite easily to, to fill out that type of simple arrangement. But to begin with, look at... Just melody and bass note and then look for the chords. So let's try and bring all that together and uh, play it slowly with a split screen. <laughs> 